Poly Packs. All right, guys, the last album here that I'm going to go through from this uh, Bob collection. And if you guys remember, um, you know, this was uh, something that Wax Packs and I went and saw this guy. We had a whole bunch of stuff. So these were the albums that I bought three of them, essentially three of them for 20 bucks is what it came out to because I added it to the pile and gave him an extra 20 for it. But um, so these albums have been sort of a mix of junk wax going into some vintage uh, so again this is this album's kind of following suit with what uh we saw before of kind of going through some 88 89 stuff uh trying to see if i can pick up some of the errors which these three actually are all the outlier errors that's pretty cool let's just start off that way so this is a uh, not outlier in the the photo um so he's got three of three of those error cards. Uh, anything else? Record breakers up. Oh, record breaker with no triangle, so not the error. Um, let's see. Anybody else? I think. Uh, Try to remember. Brett. Um, Bert by eleven had an error in this one. Keith Comstock had an error in this one, but I don't even. I don't even see Keith Comstock anywhere here. And he was a Padres pitcher. Eddie Murray had an error on his record breaker. I'm not so sure about where that was. And let's see here. All-star cards, all the all-star cards. Just whip through these up. Oh, there's Eddie Murray, but not the um not the record breaker. I mean not it's just record breaker, not the error. The error had some print going across the top of it. Oh, get another shot at it. We didn't get it. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Just another one. We didn't get the triangle. Oh, well. Tried. Um, Padres. Not Keith Comstock. So he took a lot out. So you can see there's a lot of cards missing. That means he took a lot of these cards out. And again, he was he worked for the Braves. So I know he was a big fan of them. Uh, their pitching between Tom Glab and... John Smoltz, Greg Maddox. So he probably took all those cards out, which are why they're missing. And then growing up, he said he was a Pittsburgh Pirates fan. So probably a few of those that he took out over, over this. Um, but, all right, so now we're starting to get into the vintage. And starting off right off the bat here, 1971 National League RBI leaders, you got Johnny Bench, Tony Breds, and Billy Williams. Pretty nice card. And again, with 71, a little rounded, but the edges are pretty nice. So I'll keep that as it is for right now. I don't want to mess that up. But that, that's a pretty pretty nicely kept card uh, for 1971. And kind of randomly thrown in. Yeah, I mean, you do get Jack Clark in there, but kind of randomly thrown into the 88 stuff is weird but i'll take it uh so let's keep moving on through this if i catch any of the errors that jump out of me i'll let you know but i don't know just gonna kind of breeze through these ones nothing too great yeah 87 lots of tracy jones for some reason uh who else you got you got tom her future stars george frazier i guess he was a relief pitcher for a while Dotty Baseball, Tim Raines. Hey, you got you got a 76 George Brett. Is that right? A Daryl Strawberry rookie <laughs> card. <laughs> so I was uh oh, long story short, I was looking for this card. I went out and specifically bought this card. And ever since I bought this card, I think I've gotten maybe three or four of his rookies through these collections. So I should have never bought it. I mean, I've only spent a few bucks for it, but still, it was not worth the effort to go get it. But this George Brett card, that is, yeah, 1976 card. So that's his second year card. So back in the day, right, so his 1975 card, rookie card, Robin Young, obviously, and George Brett, those are the two big ones. And I remember back when I was, you know, maybe 10 or 15, that his rookie was 200 bucks. Easy, 200 to 500 bucks. And same thing with Robin Young. They were both like 500 bucks. 
So the second year card used to be like a hundred dollar card back in the day, but now it's it's different. Maybe if you get a grid or something. I mean, this is miscut and everything else, but you know, it's pretty cool to see that second year card, knowing what it at one point what it was. You know uh, how how nice it was. Uh, you got the second year card of Dale Strawberry. Willie McGee, Wade Boggs. So getting some, I mean, Dale Strawberry, rookie, pretty cool. And the second year, George Brett, that's pretty nice. Harold Baines, potentially his rookie, but potentially I don't care. Al Leiter, another error card for him. Fountain of Youth. I like, I always like this picture, how he's looking over here, you're looking over there. Almost like he's telling him something that like he, he doesn't want to. Just want to hear is like, you didn't bet on this game, did you, Pete? Nah, nah, not me. And you got the Diamond Kings for the 87 uh, Don Russ. Throwback to the 82 Tops, which we got in another album, actually. So we actually have that card somewhere. And speaking of rookies, there's a Roger Clemens rookie card. Huh, nice. So that's an 85 Fleer rookie. That's pretty sweet. You got that. You got the second year card for Wade Boggs. Second year for you got the Mark Grace rookie card, not to be um, soon to be uh, on Wax Packs's radar, but this one as well. I think this is also the eighty four. Yeah, nineteen eighty four Fleer. So that so so far pretty good rookies in this one. You got Clemens. You got Strawberry. You got Brett second year. Uh. You got this Diamonds Kings of Jose Canseco, which I think is probably the worst picture I've seen so far of somebody in that Diamonds King. Ugh. But no other stuff. Oh, Ryan Sandberg. Is that... That's the second year. Got excited for a second. There's A.O. Batting. So this is the same thing. We saw this earlier with a, in the last album with Tim Raines. He was cut off on one side. And so the same thing here with the... Wade Boggs, so it must be the AL and the NL batting champions, but not together. There's the 86 there, so I think this is 85. Yep, 85, so almost uh, a couple years off of his rookie card there. He had 82 Don Russ, Ricky Henderson. It's pretty good. Eddie Murray, another 84 for Wade Boggs. And you got the Red Sox All-Stars. Yeah, Pete Rose in the 81 Donruss. Oh, nice. I like this one, too. The uh, stolen bases for Ricky Henderson there in the Fleer, the 81 Fleer inaugural season. So second year card for him. And look at that. Another Dale Strawberry rookie. 1984 Fleer this time. So, wow, that's pretty good. So two Dale Strawberry rookie cards in this. So this one's been a little bit of a surprise here so far with the with the rookies. And again, too, it's a, it's a, it, what makes it surprising is because, again, he went through the Sean Donston, there you go. He went through this and picked cards out that he wanted. So I would have thought that he would have picked those cards out. Just given, so like here, right, I'm not expecting to see the, right, so there's a missing card. So I bet you that's where the Mark McGuire card was. So obviously he would pick that one out, but I don't know why he would have left the other ones in there, which I'm not upset about at all. I'm glad that he did, because now I got a chance to get him. But just weird that, you know, what he picked out versus what he kept, you know, in the album. But oh, what's this now? This is the Sports cel uh, Celebrity Carnival for the Rhode Island Special Olympics. When was that? That was 1987. February 16th, 1987. Well, if you want to get in, maybe that still works. I doubt it, though. Nope. You got the other other ticket on that side. All right, more 87 tops. You got Tony Gwynn in the 85 all-star card. A couple of Corey Schneiders. Another Nolan Ryan. Mm, definitely some more cards taken out of this. Oh, here we go. What's this now? O.J. Simpson. So the 1975 NFL scoring leaders. You got O.J. Simpson and Chuck Foreman. Wow. I don't think I've had a... So it has to be the 1976 
year tops, but OJ Simpson rushing leader. That's pretty cool. I'm actually going to take it out because this page doesn't necessarily cover it all the way. And I don't like that. It was a little dinged up. But that's pretty nice. And then you got the 1975 Reds team. More mid-80s stuff. Otis Wilson randomly thrown in there for football. You got Dwight Gooden. Some sort of uh, sports flicks uh, little pin or whatever this is. Disc. You got another. Oh, so we had this one before as well. Not this particular card, but uh, you got the MVPs. We had Mantle and Don Newcomb, I think, before. Now you got, uh, who is this? Zolato Varalis? Varalis? I don't know who that is, but you got Willie Mays. That's the key one, right? Varalis and Willie Mays. So, but from 1965. So this is a 1975 card, but you got that there. So that's another nice vintage. You got, you got George Brett getting cut out from the, uh, oh, I, bought, I got a bunch of those. Those are from the, um, that's the craft dinners thing. I got a bunch of those. I got to find out where I put those. I'll add him to the collection. And then you got some more of the all-stars here. Rod Carew, Brooks Robinson, Ryan Sandberg. And ending out with an 87 leaf Dale Strawberry. So this album was, again, this one wasn't as many cards, but definitely uh, gave us some good ones here. Between, we got a couple of Daryl Strawberry rookies. Where were they? We got Sean Donson, who Wax Packs loves. All right, so you got the Daryl Strawberry 84 Fleer rookie. Then you get the, where was the other rookie cards here? I know this coming up soon. You get the Roger Clemens rookie card. And then you also get the, where were you, Daryl Strawberry? Weren't you real close to this one? There you go. Daryl Strawberry rookie card and the George Brett second year card. Throw on some more vintage cards with the Willie Mays, most valuable player from 1975. Throw him back to a 65 MVP. And then the rushing leaders for 1975 and the 1976 card for OJ Simpson. So, not bad. I, I, again, for the three albums in total, I, I, I like what I got. I think uh, I got some nice rookie cards. You know, not only with the, I had the Don Mattingly in one. I had the Wade Boggs in the other. I got now Roger Clemens, Daryl Strawberry. Uh, a bunch, I think, the White Gooden there. So you got a lot of the big name rookie cards from that era, right from the mid '80s era, and then there was a whole bunch of vintage cards, late '70s and and even earlier that uh, I was able to grab. So overall, a nice, a pretty nice haul. I mean, not much I'll do with these, right? But overall, I'm uh, pretty happy with the albums. So all right, guys, catch you in the next one. See ya.